picking up exactly where we left off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this cart reader soldered on. So in case you haven't watched my last video, uh, what this is, this is a flash adapter for the Sani cart reader, except it's designed for my particular one. Uh, the original one looks like this. Uh, it's You have three separate sets of contacts here. And um, you can use these little adapters that you get on AliExpress. This way you can flash um, chips before having to solder them down. It's quite convenient, but this adapter itself goes with the uh, original big boy board here. And this inserts into the Super Nintendo slot. Well, I want to be able to use this functionality with my cart reader, but I don't have a Super Nintendo slot on my cart reader. The uh, easy solution would be to build a Super Nintendo slot but instead I just built this board. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I use that flash adapter quite a bit and I barely ever use the Super Nintendo function, so I'd rather have this. Uh, I don't know how many of these we need, but I'm gonna use red. But this is gonna be super easy to assemble. And you don't need to solder all of the pins in if you don't use all of them. For the most part, I only use the one adapter. So I'm just going to be doing the one. But before I get that soldered together, we need to solder this onto here. And the easiest way to do so, just insert the pins and solder. This is going to go super quick. Uh, one thing I should do is I should only solder the pins that I need, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to solder all of them. For something that I'll talk about when we get to the end. Trust me, it'll, it'll, it'll make sense. I mean, it's probably dumb, but it will make sense. Just doing four corners here and applying pressure to make sure that it's nice and flat. And now for a soldering montage. Hopefully this works. The problem is I'm going to have to find a chip that works because before, so I can test this. Uh, but the whole reason it exists is so that I can find chips that work. So the first few chips I test it with probably won't work. And I'll have no way of knowing if it's something I fucked up on this board or if it's just the chips. So I'm not going to wait till the end of this video to discuss why I'm soldering all these pins instead of just the ones I need. I'm thinking uh, when I get done with this, instead of soldering up a separate board, I could just break this off and solder it to the bottom and have a twofer adapter. The whole idea of this cart reader was to make it completely modular and that idea goes against the uh, design philosophy, but on the original Sani cart reader, that was all I ever used anyway. Just the, uh, I'm talking about the big one with all the slots on it. All I ever used was the Game Boy slot and the SNES slot for the uh, adapter, flash adapter.
you hear a weird noise, it sounds like someone's snoring. It's my cat. Apparently he snores. Probably because he's sleeping on his face. And there we go. Next is this one, and I didn't make a... Uh, oh, actually, I should solder those first. Um, I completely forgot to prepare ahead of time. But I do have everything right here. So... The original adapter, Sandy's adapter, uses small surface mount switches. I decided to just use the exact same switches that you use on the uh, PCB here. And these should be soldered on this side, just to make it a little bit easier. But I suppose it doesn't actually really make a difference which side. Okay. And for the adapter that I'm using, you don't even need these switches, but it's easier to solder them beforehand, so might as well. In the off chance I ever actually use that adapter. Now this PCB I ordered through a different manufacturer. I wanted to order this one through Osh Park as well because I'm like super obsessed with that After Dark manufacturing right now. It just it looks so cool. Um, but this board was a little bit big and if you're familiar with Osh Park's pricing, that means this board was going to be a little bit expensive. So I didn't want to do that. All right. Now this one, it is labeled down there. Unfortunately, you can't really see it with, with it attached, with the module attached to the main board, but that's okay. I also forgot to put an arrow on this PCB but I think we're going to be okay. And I'm going to go ahead and start soldering this. Um, I have a feeling my camera is going to cut off. If it does, I'm not going to stop soldering. I'll just pick up where we leave off. Or rather, pick up when I'm done soldering. Just doing the four corners and then applying pressure to make sure that it's nice and flat. And then, just need to solder all these up. I'll go find some bare flash chip. Alright, so 
I finished soldering this. I cleaned it up. Uh, this is just what it looks like. Got all the pins soldered to it. It's honestly super easy to assemble, assuming you already have a cart reader. Um, while the camera was cooling down, I did finish some work on this. I ended up adding a battery. And instead of, on my original one, routing it like this, I routed the battery a little bit longer. The loop ends up being about the same, but this way the, uh, let me unplug that. This way the connector is a little bit more out of the way. I thought it was pretty cool. But anyway, that is besides the point. This goes on like that. This goes in here. And I'm pretty sure we need to have this on the Game Boy Color setting for 5 volts. Flip that on. And switch the screen off so we can try this out. Um, these, of course, I have just been letting float around in here loose, which is awful. So we're going to try out a brand new one. Hopefully this one's good. So these go in here. I'm going to turn the light back on, of course. Uh, just the uh, look for the little circle. In this case, it's on the top left here. Uh, or make sure the text is uh, upright. Just drop that in there. And... Press that down, and when it comes back up, it should be seated. So uh, I'm just going to power this, power cycle this thing real quick, just in case. Turn it back on. We'll do add-ons, flash ROM programmer, and I believe this is. I don't know. It stopped working. That's not good. These uh, adapters are super finicky. Yeah, I'm not having a lot of luck here. This thing keeps crashing. I'll lose. My, I'll peel that off. Lose the little cursor. Let me unplug this. Okay, so it's definitely that thing, this part. I wish these were a little bit more foolproof for uh, reading the chip. 8-bit flash adapter? No, that's not it. I always forget what option that is. I'm sorry. No, that wasn't it. You can tell I'm at the end of my day here. Next adapter. That's not it either. Is it under Super Nintendo? No. God, I just made this thing. I don't even know how the hell it works. Could just be that it's not recognizing this chip. Which I did say was a problem where the chip itself doesn't work. Now let's try a different chip. Same thing, add-ons, uh, oops, that's not it. Let me try, just to rule this out, Ugh. there we go, let's try it on this stupid thing. And 
this is on five volt. Yep. See, that's a different code. It's still not recognizing it. Oops. Pins are close enough together that it's really easy to short them out. And once you got one side lined up, the other side moves. Oh, damn it, I keep doing that. Yeah, it's still not recognizing it. Let's see if we get something different on the other chip. Unknown. Let's try the last one. I know this thing works. I've used it before. The video somewhere. Me using it. And if all else fails, I do have some, these are M29 FO16D chips, which are 2 megabyte flash. I have some M29 FO32 chips somewhere. Those are 4 megabyte flash. Unknown flash ROM. Oh, come on. Nothing. I don't know if I have any working one of these, any of these. I'll have to. The pins on that one look straight. Let's try this. Nothing. I keep getting a different ID every time, so I, I know it's reading it. Let's reboot it just in case. Or hell. Let's change voltage just in case. Zero four AD forty three twenty. One nine oh nine. I'm not even getting the same ID. So, hmm, maybe something's up with this. Right, 
28. I don't think that switch should make a difference, but just double check. The one thing with these uh, mechanical buttons is, yeah, that didn't make it. Oops. If you accidentally uh, go too far, you can give it a quick double tap to go up one option instead of down. But it's hard to, it's very difficult to actually double tap quick enough. Uh, I can't use this. In my defense, these were shipped to me this way. I got a refund on them. All the pins are all mashed up. That one looks like it was soldered because there's a short across a couple pins. Let me try this one. See, I keep getting the same 0909. At least on this one, I was getting different IDs. I may have the schematic wrong, which is going to be bummer, but it is what it is. This thing is not going to work. Hope I'm not missing something dumb. Oops, that's the error. Try this one more time. See, that's not recognizing it either, but it's still a different ID. Yeah, I don't know. I'm at wit's end here, guys. I'm going to have to fuss with this some more off-camera. Maybe I'll figure something out. But in the meantime, I am pretty happy with how this thing turned out. It's going to replace this one for sure. Um, I'm not sure if I want to put a battery gauge on it, though. I think I might. Fuck it. It's fun. Why not? Um, but thanks for sticking with me, even though it wasn't a complete success. Have a good night. Okay, so I'm almost definitely going to edit this video down, uh, but I want to show off this part. Um, so I found, I went and found my AM29 FO32 chips, which I did manage to get stuck in there. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, this is just the 4 megabyte version of the FO16 chips. They are stupid expensive, um, so I am kind of disappointed but whatever uh, I'm still getting that 90 90 error on this unknown flash ROM but let me show you what happens when I remove this stick it on here and of course because I am 
short on SD cards. Swap that into there. Pop that into there. Boot this up. Add-ons, flash ROM adapter, 8-bit. This recognizes the chip. So that means my problem is with this board itself. Unfortunately, I've managed to fuck it up somehow. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll make a new revision and uh, go for, well, I guess I'll check my wiring first, see what happened. I'm pretty sure the issue is not with my soldering. I mean, it was just all through whole pins. I'm thinking I just messed up in translating Sani's wiring diagram to my schematic. Um, I don't know where I messed up, but it must have messed up somewhere because this works. Uh, but anyway, um, I guess thanks for sticking with me, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.